Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wilhelm here, and uh, today I am just gonna be talking while I did a time lapse of me building one part of my new city that I am going to keep recording if you guys enjoy, because I enjoyed it. Uh, so I just did this island first, which is kind of weird because of how originally it just wasn't gonna be like this much it was just going to be a little bit of a area for all of the uh industry and the power sewage water garbage all of that would go on this island which i did put in but i also add a whole lot more to this uh, i i i <laughs> I just got a bunch of mods while doing this, uh, so it was pretty fun to mess around with. Uh, I tried working around with everything. I really wanted to use the quays because they, not only do they look really awesome, but they, they kind of like help with the flooding because I kept struggling with that. <laughs> uh, so it was kind of fun to do, and I do go back to uh, make it completely wrap around and make it look a lot nicer. Because as you can see, it is kind of flooding. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm just messing around. It's been so long since I've done all of this. Yeah, so my original idea was to just do uh, all of it over there. But then I'm like, you know what? It looks way too nice over there to actually uh, make it just for the nuclear facility. Because that's, that's our power. <laughs> A bunch of nuclear power right next to a uh, large population of people <laughs> because you know why not it's america after all maybe i don't know where this is maybe i should make a backstory maybe maybe uh so i'm just messing around with some of the new stuff i download a bunch of mods <laughs> uh, let's see oh yeah uh, I kept messing around with the flood walls and the quays, and I just figured, you know what, nah, not too much work. Yeah, originally I was going to put the sewage, the water downstream from the sewage, and I realized that I'm putting the water downstream from the sewage, so that's not a good idea. I fixed it, of course, because I always do that. Uh, yeah, so I think I did a pretty good job with the quays. I like the quays, they're pretty cool. Uh, I also kind of make it more profound. Yeah, right here. Uh, kind of like it's more man-made versus just being put there for reasons unknown. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just mess around with a bunch of the roads and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, and over here I use all the pedestrian roads. Uh, because, you know, that looks really nice compared to other things. Uh, and I put a bunch of low density over in that. And then I also realized, wait a second, nothing is gonna build until I put something on the roads. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing right here. And I didn't know what I was gonna do at first, but then I settled on doing this, as you can see. Yeah, and I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> My opinion. <But> don't hate. <laughs> uh, and I also got the tree mod for the roads, and I was just messing around with like what looks best, and I think I decide on... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the ones on the right. There. <laughs> now, originally what I was gonna do here was just going to have the train tracks go above while the road... Uh, naturally slopes under it but then i had road anarchy so it was just trying to go through instead of over and uh it won't let me turn it off and i don't know why yes so then i tried doing the tunnel and yet again that did not work <laughs> as you're about to see here mm -hmm. and then i'm just like you know what forget about it i'm not gonna bother <laughs> Uh, whew. and I spent so long last night working on this, uh, but to be fair, I'm gonna be gone, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, 
because I think I'm uploading this today. Yes, this took me about three hours. <laughs> and just a lot of work over overall there. Uh, I do like the look of those uh, little what is this? memory blank derp uh, little storefronts down there. Just nothing big. And have kind of the European style. I think at this point it kind of makes sense that it's a little bit European because uh, like whenever I go to Mackinac it's kind of like a bunch of stuff different. And I didn't really want like the high density other type. I thought this one looked nicer over here. And I could always change it. And I think for the rest of the region, unless it's in a really small area, I think it's just gonna be regular buildings <laughs> uh, from like the American style. Uh, oh yeah, over here I'm just uh, playing with a bunch of suburbs up here. Uh, which ends up looking really nice, I think. My opinion, don't hate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I cut the power because I'm that amazing and I love cutting power to other people. Over here, I'm just working on a little bit of a park area. Yeah, I've got the tennis court, the basketball court, and the soccer field. A uh, little bit of a plaza, and I do add some other stuff because I realize, oh yeah, I have all these props, and I have uh, prop and tree anarchy. So that is what I do. I just add on those. Yeah, I was gonna put it there, but then I decided, you know what? L let's get it its own area because I did see that park right there, and I'm like, oh. That one kind of makes sense. It looks more like an area where you would eat. The other one's just kind of like hangout park. I don't know, because this one's like a restaurant. Huh. Yeah, I, I, this was my first time using a lot of stuff and I was trying to use those walls, but there was nothing on the back I could put. So what I end up doing is just putting a bunch of uh, rocks and tree trunks all across because I thought you know what that, that's okay that kind of borders it a little bit and I also put some trees and some other plants and stuff I should have put that stone arch archway that would, have looked, that would have looked really cool compared to what I did do <laughs> uh yeah I mean so far it looks pretty good I think experimenting and I do like that little splash of color right there Adds a little bit of uh, something. And then what I do is whenever I place rocks, I like to put a little bit of a plant. Uh, I In my last city that I did, uh, where I actually used props, I put some magnolia trees, or cherry trees, can't remember which one, uh, on the rocks. Kind of look nice. This time I'm going for more of the bush, but I do put some of those once again in there. And the rocks on the edge, once again, because that looks, like, amazing. And, like, who wouldn't want that? Like, I mean, like, uh, that, that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so anyways, I'm trying to figure out if I could put that uh, rock there, because I think it adds a little bit of something. And, let's see. I think, yeah, I put a bunch of trees, but I have trees and road anarchy on. And so I gotta, like, remove all the trees from this island, and I'm just gonna do it hand, like, manually. Which kind of sucks, because at the same time, I have, like, a bunch of bushes all laid out the way I wanted it. But uh, it makes sense versus it being overcrowded, as you can probably see. Although the trees on the roads right there, I think that's fine. It's just a little bit of a... It looks cool. Don't judge. Uh, and when I was doing the little suburb area, I wanted it to be smaller and more sectioned off. Uh, I've seen that from a bunch of YouTubers who also do City Skylines videos. So I just went ahead, did that, tried to even out the terrain, didn't really work too well. And yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to fix that again because I wanted to make it look more of a man-made border. 
Uh, so just gotta put the industrial just because I'm like, eh, we might as well have a little bit. I mean, I can always turn it off, but it's nice to have some. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. I just put everything there and then it went into the roads, it went into the homes. So I have to get rid of all of those. So I'll just do it manually. It shouldn't be too hard. Just place them a little bit, strung them out. I ended up putting that there because I didn't feel like having the big construction poles uh, with a bunch of the wires going from the power to the power and just like, ah, it's like its own little community over here because of how even later in the video when I do all the districting, I make this its own little area, the main area its own area. And then also the suburb area, which isn't the one that I just did. Uh, its own area and then also the industry area I also put that what's it called <laughs> when your brain doesn't work like it used to before <laughs> uh, I really want to do the walls but like every time I tried to do it it just wouldn't work so I'm just like you know what whatever let's just put a bunch of rocks and ruins that looks cool <laughs> I end up getting pretty carried away over here, uh, and I try to do some stuff that I actually end up not doing. Yeah, like right here, I just add a little bit of slope and stuff. I did keep that dock. Uh, I did not keep that lighthouse because I'm like, wait, we already have one. I mean, after all, it did take me three hours, and this few minutes it took me just do the math right there. <laughs> It's ten times the speed of how it would have been. One thousand percent. Uh, because I don't feel like splitting all these into episodes, and I don't think you guys would like it either. So, yeah, I maybe I'll always do it like this, but I think I'm going to mainly... I, I think I'll do some others where it's just hands-on for like its own little project. But if I'm doing something wide-scale, like the beginning and foundings of my city, I'm obviously gonna do this. A little bit of a speed build. And I wanna keep doing this because I really, really love City Skyline so much. Uh, and it's just fun to play with. And recently I've been getting a lot better with actually placing props and stuff. And I think it adds a lot of character. Yeah, right here I'm doing the district thing. We're nearing the end here. Uh, I named this trial point because it's kind of like a point. I named that Castle Drive over there. Uh, wait, what do I name here? Oh, it's not going to show me. And then I realized that nothing was getting out of there, so I decided to just put that there. Because why not? Uh, I don't remember what I named that. I remember that I uh, named this the Indus Valley, I think. I don't remember what I named that one area. I think it's something heights or hills. I'm gonna keep thinking. Wow, over here I was trying to use a first person camera, but it just wasn't working properly. I don't know how to get out of it. It says tab. I click tab and it doesn't work because of reasons unknown. Uh, so then I just try a bunch of different people. I want to get perspective of the city. So this is what I'm doing right here. So, and yeah, I have to go back and delete some of those trees that are in the middle of the street. Uh, it does look pretty nice. And over here I'm just scrolling like, is there anything that's like not letting me because of the tab? So yeah, that's uh, something I tried to avoid. Uh, yeah, so I was just, I couldn't get out of it, so I just had to wait until it got to the ed, ed of, edge of the world, I guess. Uh, so I just placed a high school, because why not, and a house. Uh, and over here, this is when I'm realizing, oh yeah, that tree and prop anarchy isn't always good. And right here, I start messing around with the cinematic camera. Uh, and needless to say, I got stuck, and I was scared that I would lose my entire game because I couldn't click escape, I couldn't save it. I come back down an hour later, and it just finished. 
because I got it stuck. So here's kind of like what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. And that, that's my city, I guess. So, yeah, it's very, very beautiful. And I fixed it, and hopefully I'll do some more.